What's up everybody, if you that don't know me, my name is Chris, aka Mr. Grow It, and you're watching Max's channel. Perfect Works sent me over their 1000W Cree Cobb Plus LED grow light, and in this video I'm going to unbox the unit, I will test the power output, and I'll do a heat test on it. I'm not going to go over all of the features that this grow light has, but I will link it in the description section below so you can learn more about it. First thing out the box here is a wire hanging kit. Here is another wire hanging kit. Next is a power cord. And lastly is the LED grow light. For the part test, I'm going to use the Apogee MQ500 power meter. This meter measures from 389 nanometers to 692 nanometers, and the measurements are in PPFD. I do these videos just to give you a general idea of what the power output is. It's not going to be 100% accurate. I take measurements in grow tents, which have reflective walls. That could increase the numbers, so just keep that in mind. The vegetative coverage area for this grow light is 4 foot by 4 foot. According to the Amazon listing, the flowering coverage area is 4 foot by 3 foot. However, I was told that the flowering coverage area was 3 foot by 3 foot. So when I show you the measurements, you'll see that I'm keeping my power meter in a 3 foot by 3 foot space. I'm going to take measurements at three different distances. These are the recommended distances listed on their Amazon listing. 18 inches, 30 inches, and 40 inches. I've plugged the LED grow light into my kilowatt meter and it shows 3.26 amps pulling 383 watts. All right, let's get into the measurements.
What do you think of these measurements? Let me know in the comment section below. Just a reminder that there is a link to this grow light in the description section below, and I'll leave it at that. Thank you so much for watching, and until next time, peace.